Okay, this is uh, where the tomatoes are going. This is the raft type, uh, where it's all floating in the water. The original type of DWC system. I'll pull one of them out. This is just a small portion. Here's uh, their, their tomatoes. And there you can see the root. Um, it's a nice little healthy plant. Doing pretty good. Um, they're also pretty good. This is going to be the mother plants for my entire next summer harvest. Um, I'm just going to cl clone these all, all winter long and keep filling up my tank here. So that's where they're all at. This whole area is just the, uh, the plants that are going. And then over here, we've got, this is the flowing NFT system. First right here, I've got just a uh, can of uh, perlite, and I just dumped a whole thing of leaf lettuce on it, and just got it going. So that when it gets about like that, I'll just start harvesting some for the rest of the winter. This here, I've got three different dates of uh, head lettuce. These ones here were seeds three days ago. So you can see that they've, uh, they're coming on strong at three days. These ones here, on the other hand, uh, have now been running for eight days, and it's a fairly healthy little plant. These ones here, on the other hand, are been going for 15 days, and they're doing very well. These are all underneath of uh, 100 watt LEDs which is what the lights all, all are. You see some of them are really taking off, some of them for lettuce. This is uh, Swiss chard. And then over here I've got some kale growing. I've got some uh, uh, strawberries that I just took cuttings from that are just taking off. Um, over here, I've also got another raft set up. That this is my strawberries. So we get about a handful of strawberries every day, roughly. And it's just uh, just my old strawberries from this last summer. And anyway, that's the uh, whole system in a nutshell as for right now. And then there's also some of my house plants trying to grow. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. الزراعة المائية في مزرعتي وهذه تعتمد على الماء و 16 نوع من أنواع الأسمدة يتم خلط هذه الأنواع من الأسمدة مع بعضها البعض ومن ثم بعد ذلك يتم وضعها في الماء بنسب معد معينة وهذه النسب كل مادة, مادة لها وزن محدد تضاف إلى الأسمدة بعد ذلك تضاف إلى المياه ومن ثم يتم وضع هذا الماء في خزان ويتم ضخ المياه من الخزان إلى هذه المواسير حيث لا يوجد في هذا النوع أي مادة تكون فيها الجذور هذه هنا عملية ضخ المياه بواسطة ماتور ومن ثم يتم نقل هذه المياه بواسطة الأنابيب إلى مواسير بي في سي 
4 انش وتنتقل من هذه المواسير الى الشكل المزروع في هذه الانابيب كما نلاحظ هذه الشتول او هذه الشتلات لا يوجد فيها اي نوع من انواع التربه بل تعتمد فقط على المياه نلاحظ نمو الجذور هذه هي الجذور الجذور الجديده والموجوده في المياه في مياه الري نلاحظ هنا مياه الري وهي تسيل في الانابيب او في اي طريقه تكون ممكنه لجريان هذا الماء ومن ثم تعود هذه المياه مرة أخرى إلى خزان المياه ليتم ضخها مرة ثانية من الخزان إلى هذه إلى هذه الشتول هنا هذه آه هذا هو السبانخ وهذه السبانخ مزروعة في البتموس حيث يتم ضخ المياه أيضا لها بنفس الطريقة تأخذ السبانخ حاجتها من المياه والسماد ثم تعود مرة أخرى إلى هذا الخزان ويتم ضخها مرة أخرى إلى النبات وهكذا بهذه الطرق من الزراعة يتم توفير ما يزيد عن سبعين بالمية من كمية المياه لو كانت الزراعة في التربة في هذه الأنواع من الزراعة أيضا لا يوجد أمراض حيث تكون الأمراض قليلة جدا وسرعة. Hey, good morning, guys. This is Paul from Hot and Humid Hydroponics. Uh, this is a question that's going to go out to the Hot and Humid Hydroponics forum. I really need some serious opinions here. So, you know, I know you guys have seen like a billion videos of my tomatoes, and that's kind of the, not the point this morning. Um, because as gorgeous and as beautiful as this is, I am actually really considering terminating it all. So some of you are like, whoa, whoa, that's crazy. That's crazy idea, Paul. Well, you know what? Here's the deal. I'm, I'm getting overwhelmed with tomatoes. Uh, they're in okay shape. You know, I've, I, they've got decent growth on them, but they're showing almost all of them showing signs of tomato yellow leaf curl virus. They're, which will stunt your fruit. It hasn't really seemingly done much stunting on my plants, um, but indeed uh, it's there. So the plant's weakened, and everything is fine right now, but I'm concerned that if I let it go any further, you're, I'm still going to be dealing with some major issues, so uh, long term. But here's the thing. The growing season right now for tomatoes is going to go from about right now all the way through about June, maybe June, depending on how hot it gets. And then it's gonna stop because there's just no cotton picking away. We're gonna be able to control that much heat on this much plants. I mean, I'm already draining a reservoir a day, uh, practically. Um, and, I'm, I, and I'm off cycling with, you know, two, putting nutrients one day and, and no nutrients the next day, or I'm thinking about doing half nutrients because it's costing so much. Um, you know, these. I've got a lot of vegetation here. Long story short, probably next season I'll probably like trim 90% of this vegetation because it's just absorbing nutrients and water and so forth. But here's my problem. I've got so many flowers, guys. Look at this. It's crazy. I've got flowers after flowers, fruit after fruit. I mean, it's bursting at the seams. I'm getting like crazy, 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 crazy flowers everywhere. So what do I do? Do I take my seedlings and say, okay, the chances of them are probably going to only get about so big until about the season just terminates them? Or do I just let the tomatoes go the way they are? Or do I cut my tomatoes back and totally trim out all of all the foliage and, I mean, just, just give it like a shave and allow all the fruit to ripen up and just call the whole thing and prepare for my other crops. I don't know how long they're going to hold up, especially with a whole new season, with a whole new variety of bugs and a whole new variety of attacks. We get a lot of bugs this time of season. So, um, 
I need your opinion. I'd love to hear from it. Thanks again for tuning in and comment in the comments below. All right, quick one. I am getting my butt handed to me this growing season. Uh, I'm telling you, I've had worse problems with plants than I've ever had. And I don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong that is not working for me. Number one, all of my nutrient solution is falling out. I've done things exactly the same with the same ratios, you name it. I have no idea what's causing all my problems. I made this last night, an attempt to save what was happening to be a lot of my leaves falling off of a lot of my seedlings. And at the end of the day, I'm still getting some of that. And I'm getting dried and shriveled leaves everywhere. And I'm bringing it up close, as close as I can in video mode. These leaves do not look healthy. I'm losing them left and right. What I did is I ultimately took them out of the cube tray and I figured maybe they were drying up or something. I have no idea. And I put them in just like that. And I just collared them to get a root growing along the stems. Overnight, people, overnight. I have no idea how this happened. I am now getting some white, kind of white compound inside there. Now, take that into consideration with the fact, look at all that nutrient fallout. I have absolutely no idea how that happened. I mixed everything as I normally would independently. I've got no, I'm just using my standard master blend. I've got my standard, you know, calcium nitrate. I'm using Epsom salt. So, I think all Epsom salt is created equal. There's no fragrance or anything special about this Epsom salt. But, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm not sure what's happening. And my PPMs are falling and my plants are dying. Um, this is a different type of setup. This is nothing more than the, the cups. Those are my roots. Those seemingly work well. But I'm still getting yellowing on the leaves. Still getting yellowing. And as I open up my nutrient solution tray, still tremendous amounts of fallout. However, the cucumber roots are looking awesome. So I need some feedback, guys, because otherwise I'm going to be literally losing all of my seedlings. More importantly, I need to find out what's causing my, nu my, my nutrient solution fallout. Because, <laughs> come on, I've coached people in mixing Master Blend. I have no idea what could be causing this. I need your opinions. Appreciate it. Bye. Hey there everyone. Alright, so I wanted to share my progress with everyone. Uh, hasn't been a lot, it's been slow, but I have been making some progress. Um, before I show you guys the system again, let me first explain the plants that I have left. Uh, I decided to stop adding to the casualty list while I work out the kinks. So these are the, just the ones that I've been able to hold on to. Um, we have Blackberry, uh, Tulsi Kapoor Tea, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Jalapenos, more tea, pineapples down here, a couple that I just threw in there a few days ago, just the tops off of organic ones that we purchased. A uh, little baby jalapeno, there's some mouse melon, some spearmint, peppermint, and got a couple of lettuces over here, and another spearmint, goji berries, those are in soil, they didn't like the hydroponics, and these are cherry tomatoes. Uh, as you can see, most of my system is still empty because, like I said, I don't want to add to the casualty list anymore while I work out the kinks. But it's getting there. Alright, so, this is my mixing station. That right there is fresh water in, and one of those is a drain to waste, and the other one goes to the two different systems that I have set up. This one here, I put together for tomatoes. Uh, these are cherry tomatoes down here. They're doing pretty well. Um, and over here in the NFT system, I already showed you all the plants over here. Um, down here is my reservoir and my pumps. I'll show you under here. This directs the water from the bucket. 
and uh, that timer does my tomatoes. Uh, they run 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off, and the NFT system runs continuously. Um, the big thing that I wanted to share with you guys is the amount of the, the amount of neglect that I've committed out here has been horrible, and I cannot believe anything's still alive. I've neglected it to the extent that I've only added water with a pH balance of six. No nutrients, no nothing. I haven't done anything out here in honestly what feels like months. I could be mistaken, but at least a month. And everything just keeps growing. I, I don't even know what my parts per million are. Um, I think I'll check here in a minute now that I'm thinking about it. But everything's just growing, even though I'm not really doing anything. Even the tomatoes. Um, I don't even remember offhand the name of the stuff that I used in the tomatoes. It was quite a while ago, and I haven't done anything since. So, anyway, it's weird, but it's something's working. And I'm going to keep going until I have it where I think I want it. And then we'll figure it out from there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.